The Windows operating system has a file manager called File Explorer. If you aren't sure what an operating system is, please watch the Introduction to Microsoft Windows playlist where I introduce all of the Windows operating system fundamentals. You may hear people refer to File Explorer as Windows Explorer or just Explorer. This name has changed throughout previous versions of Windows. The File Explorer button is the yellow folder on your taskbar, and I'm pointing at it right here. The purpose of the File Manager is to manage your files and navigate to different drives or folders on your computer. Files can be documents you create while working in your applications, or they could be system files that are needed to run your computer. Files are also items you add to your computer, such as pictures from a digital camera. I'm going to go ahead and open the File Explorer application by clicking one time on the yellow folder in the taskbar. When the File Explorer window opens, notice that it opens to the Quick Access menu. Over here, we have Frequently Accessed Folders and Recent Files. I'm going to go ahead and close out of File Explorer. I'm going to demonstrate two other techniques to enter File Explorer. One is to press and hold the Start key down on your keyboard and tap the E key. That will open File Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and close out. The other method you can use is to right-click the Start button and left-click File Explorer in the Start menu. That will also take you into the File Explorer window. It's important to understand the graphical user interface of the File Explorer window, so I'm going to give you an overview of what you're looking at. The top of this window is called a title bar. Over to the left of the title bar, you have a quick access toolbar that you can add and remove buttons that you use on a regular basis. As you can see, there's the undo button. If I click one time, I've removed that button. If I go back to the drop-down menu, I can add the button again, which is right here. On the right side of the title bar, I have the minimize, the maximize, and the close. If I click the minimize button, it takes it down to the taskbar. If I click on the folder again, it restores it. I'm currently maximized, but if I click this button, it will restore down. And if I click the maximize button, it takes the full screen again. The X will close me out. Underneath the title bar, we have the ribbon. This entire bar is called the ribbon. Underneath the ribbon, we have the address bar, which will show the file path of a folder you have selected. So for example, if I select this and then I click on the file, it shows the path that I took to get to this file. Over here to the right, I have a search feature that will allow me to search for folders and files on my computer. Over here on the left, I'm going to go ahead and click this PC. What you'll see is that this is a navigation pane. It shows your folders and your drives and your subfolders. Whatever you click on the left pane window will show on the right pane window. If you look down in the lower left corner where I'm pointing here, you'll see the status bar. The status bar will usually show you how many items are within that folder and how many items you have selected.